Sam, DNA, DNA, and I'm glad I got to, I'm going last. Virtually every person who came to the podium based their knowledge on the media wacko freaks. I'm here every day, I see what goes on, and I see the lies that they tell you. I'll give you an example. Back when our police chief was was a temporary police chief, I nominated him to be a permanent police chief, and the media wacko freaks did everything they could to castigate that fine man, and I had to come to these podiums and at least convince them to hire that good man. The media did the same thing to the chief of police that they're trying, and I'm not here to speak in favor of the city attorney or against him, but they're doing, they did this, almost the same thing to him, except they didn't bring sex into it or racism. They just said he wasn't qualified, didn't have the background, he was a good man. I hardly knew him, but I could tell that people really liked him, except the media didn't like him. The media does not like law enforcement. It's built into their, built into their raw DNA, not like my DNA, which is real DNA. At any rate, what we have here is everything being driven by the wacko free taxpayer-funded media. And they are taxpayer funded. They've got a they've got a role. They're being told what to do. They're trying to destroy that man, and he's already recused himself from being the city attorney. He's not even going to be handling it. Most these people don't even seem to know that. Why do we hire a new attorney out there? Maybe we should get an outsider. I don't know. He's got 20 people in his staff. Somebody in that staff should be able to handle this themselves. Sex and racism. I, I come to these meetings every week. We talk about we talk about the. Uh, uh, budget, we talk about uh, whether or not they deserve to be up at that podium at that dais instead of me. Talk about a lot of things. Sex brought all of you people down here. Sex. And I'm not against women and I'm not against men. I think they're all great people. But you bring the sex into things and you're, you're, you're giving it a rotten playing field because it's women that need to be um, defended. How about poor Mr. Klinger? Nobody came down here to, to uh, defend Mr. Klinger, the previous city manager, who the media wacko freaks drove out, uh, insulted him, insulted his family. The horrible things they did to that man that I saw, and I don't even know him except I watched him for five years do a good job of being a city manager, and instead the media drove him out. He didn't have to go, but they insulted him, and he said like that man a little while ago, talking about, about being on the nap, and said, I had enough, so he said he left. And it's just a disgusting thing that's going on, and you can blame it all, 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 every bit of it on the media. Not the television guys over there, they're just running their cameras. I'm talking to the people back there with the pens and pencils, and Channel 2, Channel 4, that wacko freak over there. All of them just reading their teleprompters, doing what they're being told to do by apparently rotten, evil people. Did I make, does anybody understand what I just said? Did I make, look at that, Mr. Campbell back there. Hi, Mr. Campbell. Glad to see you back here. They drove that poor man out of here, too. This is a disaster. And um, can I have about five more minutes? I do. Thank you.